and welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day for Tuesday the 11th of July 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, here to lead you around what's happening in the market as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session today. Of course, overnight US equities moved higher with almost 3 to 1 advances versus decline. A small cap outperformed with the Russell 2000 approaching a key level. US earnings season, of course, starts at the end of the week and we have got that US CPI number tomorrow, which is a obviously a potential market mover. US futures are slightly higher in the Asian session. Of course, Asian markets up in today's trading so far following that strong US lead. ASX is up 1%. Materials and utility sectors outperforming and European futures are also pointing to a positive open. The VIX moved downwards as markets settled again after the three-day losing streak. US dollar index dropped significantly overnight to test short-term support on lower bond yields. It is mildly lower again in Asia so far. Gold is trading around a key 1925 level. Copper is moving towards the key 380 level to the upside. May test that during today's trading. And oil pauses after hitting six weeks highs the previous day. Bitcoin, however, is not doing as well as equities. It is dropping slightly, testing support. At 30,000 in Asia, giving up most of yesterday's gains already. On the data front, we've got Australian consumer confidence. That's big expectations and already out. German CPI, UK jobs and Fed member speeches are all due today, all of which could be significant. And of course, that US CPI tomorrow is the headline act of the week. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Uh, if we look at the Aussie yen, you can see on the short term chart, we are testing uh, yesterday's lows. We've seen a bit of yen strength across the board today against most currencies. Uh, a breach of this level at around about 94 could see us down in the first instance to uh, around about this 93.79 level, but possibly even down to 93.25 during the course of the day if this yen strength continues. Austral are looking really strong again. We are testing a key level at 275 on this. You can see this was last tested in July last year. So 11 month highs on this. We did move higher last week after this small retracement looks as though we've got trend continuation in terms of where this could go if we look at the weekly chart again you can see the significance of this level at around about 275 possibly move up towards three dollars is on the cards and maybe even towards 330 in the medium term trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now